What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Tastemaker's Palette, here to bring you another review. Glad to be here with you today. Hope you are all well on your end. Um, here to bring you something new, um, new brand. Um, I've, I've, well, not necessarily uh, a new brand, but um, well, this is a subset of a brand that I've, I've reviewed in the past, but um, Again, just been you'll you'll notice if you've watched my more recent videos that I've kind of been doing an assessment of the wardrobe and been kind of noticing that I have more um, more formal, more um, more dressy wear than um, than occasions to to um, attend, and you know the bulk of my life is essentially um, you know just kind of ripping and running you know, um, just, just doing normal domestic things and, and, and chores and whatever have you. So, um, you know, just looking at that, at the wardrobe and trying to be efficient in terms of how I'm spending my money and, um, you know, just how I'm, um, strategizing my closet and trying to strike a balance of, um, uh, having enough of what I need versus either too much as to where I'm spent. I'm, I've got things that are just sitting around in a closet with tags on that, um, you know, probably never get worn and then wind up being out of style and being a waste or too little as to where I only got a few outfits and everything's faded and has holes in them because I'm, I'm wearing them all the hell. Um, so um, I've, I've been doing some research, you know, even though what I'm doing is just ripping and running and, and all I need is essential wear. I do want to kind of be ahead of the fray and, um, you know, stay you know, uh, stay pulsed with what's going on and with new brands and things, um, and, and, and keep it basic, but fly. So, um, what I'm going to bring to you today is, uh, I've actually for the first time, um, been able to grab a hold of something from fear of God essentials. Um, I've had several pieces from just the regular fear of God. Um, but just never, you know, I've always kind of been like, eh, essentials is cool, but you know, uh, you know, I don't necessarily need it. But, you know, now, again, that I'm trying to strike that balance, I feel that Essentials, um, you know, is a good fit for me. So, um, so yeah, I picked up two pairs of Essentials, um, two Essentials items, picked up a pair of pants and a pair of shorts, which are pretty much the shorts are the, are the short version of the exact same pants that I bought. Um, Essence.com uh, had a great, great sale. They still have the sale going on. I'll leave the um, link in the description. Um, but I was able to, to snag the pants for what I believe was 60 or $65 and the shorts were maybe about 50, which is, um, they, they were discounted. Um, I'm a, a, a deals guy getting a deal gives me a rush. I did not get a rush of endorphins from this deal. Cause you know, I guess it could be, it could be cheaper, but, um, nevertheless, it's still lower than retail. So, you know, able to just try things out for less than what, um, what it would normally sell for for retail. So, um, so yeah, you know, uh, got the pants and, um, you know, and the shorts and, um, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. So, so I'll start with the packaging. Um, and again, this is fear of God essentials. Um, you know, for all of you, this is, this is something that I, I feel like most of my viewers will know, but, um, for the sake of just, you know, um, Staying in line with with all possible facts, uh, Essentials is kind of the subset brand of Fear of God. Fear of God is the high end luxury brand um, by um, Jerry Lorenzo. Um, really, really respect what Jerry Lorenzo is doing. J Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God is. Um, I don't like to categorize because it it um, it simplifies perspective when. Um, in, in a lot of instances where that it shouldn't be done because what Jerry is doing with this brand from a design standpoint is 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 out of this world. Um, but for for lack of a, a better way of just kind of summarizing, fear of God is um, you know is no pun intended there. That fear of God is actually um, it's it's a, a faith based brand. Jerry Lorenzo is Christian, and um, I've actually. Um, got gotten a chance to hear him discuss where his inspiration comes from and coming, um, you know, uh, being um, a follower of Christ and so on and so forth. It was really, really inspiring. Um, and e even hearing about his background, um, him 
not having a formal fashion background in terms of being trained and educated in fashion and just getting this insight and this um this kind of um you know spiritual you know inspiration to just move forward with 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 these visions that he was having so um I digress just wanted to kind of give a little background there but fear of God is the higher end brand essentials is the kind of subset brand that is it made a little bit more affordable for the masses um what I'll say about that is um a lot of brands have that like um give you an example um I don't know Ralph Lauren used to have um what was that denim and supply co um and they also way back in the days used to have like chaps so you'd have Ralph Lauren Polo and then you'd have Denim and Supply Co, which was a little bit more affordable, um, but still quality was there. Chaps, same thing, but you know, not quite the same thing as the Ralph Lauren Polo. And then you have something above Ralph Lauren Polo, which is like Purple Label or Double RL. Um, and a lot of brands do that. You know, they, they just have different tiers of brands um, to cater to different target markets and different needs of, of consumers. So. Um, Essentials is dope. It's kind of a baseline brand. Um, um, you know, the name is self-explanatory. Essentials, they, they, they make like basic, um, you know, jogging pants and polos and just basic everyday wear. But what Jerry does is he puts that um, design spin where the fit and everything is, um, you know, is, um, is tailored to a more modern um, a more modern style versus the more contemporary look. Um, and then he'll, you know, he'll do little things here and there, like, you know, add a nice long drawstring or, you know, put the Essentials logo somewhere, position it somewhere on the clothing that makes it a little bit more funky than it would be, um, you know, if it was just a basic item. So uh, without further ado, I know I'm sitting here holding this thing here, holding you guys in suspense. Um, you didn't come here to hear me talk. Um, let's take a look at this here. So these, this is the bag that you get with most, most essentials items. Nice packaging. Um, like I said, this is the lower, uh, not the lower end subset, but the the, le the less expensive subset brand of Fear of God, but he's still giving you a um, nice presentation through this packaging. I like this kind of um, opaque tinted bag with the essentials logo, very nice. Um, and yeah, here, let's take a look at these pants, man. Really, really, really nice. Dope pair of pants. So I think these are considered trousers on the site. Uh, let's see, uh, what is it? B -b -b Amber track pant. So this is a tr considered a track pant. And if you look at it, it is made out of like a nylon material, but it's the nylon is not like normal nylon. So um, it is a, it is not the same quality as the um, actual high end fear of God um, offering, but it is still very good quality material and I would put this up against any non-luxury streetwear brand and it would be better quality than than that would be so it's kind of in between there but there's no sacrifice this is gonna this is not gonna tear it's not cheap or anything like that it's nylon but it's very heavy and it actually it, it seems like it's tightly woven however it's constructed and um, it's, there is a little bit of weight to it um, so I'll say that this is the color amber the fit is um, on these is kind of like in between regular and tapered, which I love. Um, so you get the best of both worlds. And as I mentioned before, what Jerry does is he adds these little accents to something basic. So this is a basic track pan, but you know you get your your logo here. It says essentials. Usually, fear of God, the higher end, it has a logo that will be here on some of the pants, and it'll say fear of God. But this one says of essentials. Long drawstring. Love the elongated drawstring here. And then the logo is on the, kind of like the shin part of the lower leg and it is in reflector, which is dope. And then you have the drawstrings here with the adjuster on both ends of the leg. So you can either tighten it or you can wear it flared out, which is dope. One pocket on the back. So I like that, you know, that's kind of stylish. Just one pocket versus two. I never use back pockets, so that makes it stylish because it would never be functional for me. And yeah, man, just an all around um, dope pair of pants. And, you know, I have no qualms about wearing these, just kicking around. 
I'm throwing them in rotation with my other track pants. If you guys watch my videos, you know I'm a big needles fan. So I got a couple of needles, track pants, a couple of palm angels. So throw it in rotation there. And so again, as I mentioned, you know, they just so happened on the site to have the shorts version of these pants. And I liked them so much that I picked up the shorts. The, the price was right. So again, we have the bag and presentation. And got the, again, the shorts version. Same deal, same exact deal. Um, only thing is, is the drawstring loops versus um, having the two open hanging ones which I like this because if you wash it, you won't lose the, uh, the drawstring ever. And then they have a little, um, I used to call these shoelace locks, but this is not a shoelace. Um, but they have that to, to cinch the drawstring if you need to tighten it up. Essentials across the front there, rubberized. And then essentials on the lower thigh here in reflector. One pocket on the back. So dope, they have these in another color online. I'm actually contemplating getting the track pants, another pair of track pants. Um, if I find that the price drops, um, you know, I think that um, it'd be cool to have two in the Arsenal versus one. So um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a moment and try these on for you guys. Let's see how they look. So give me a second, let me regroup the taste here. Angle you away from me so I can have some practice. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. Um, what do you think of Essentials? If you if you have experience with them, um, very very popular brand. Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of influential fashion people gravitating toward Essentials. To be honest, um, one of the things that I was noticing is that, you know, a lot of the more popular streetwear brands, they, even though they thrive, they have so much more of a buzz when they first come out. And then they tend to kind of, you know, the buzz tends to fizzle down. And then it's all about, you know, whether people want to continue wearing their garments. And, uh, you know, I'm not noticing fear of God in the, in the forefront like I used to. But, I mean, naturally so, because the industry is so saturated with new brands. Um, and there's a lot of heat coming out, man. It's, it's, it's like, man, I, you know, I'm keeping up with the names and what's what, but it's just like, man, there's so much coming out. I don't even want to have that much, that many clothes in my closet. <laughs> a lot of good stuff coming out. And hopefully I'll be able to, through the channel, bring you, bring you some of, you know, what I'm seeing is coming out, so. But here we go. Um, forgive me for being a little bit messy here, but here are the pants. And these are an XL, FYI. You guys know my specs, 6'2", uh, 240 at the moment. And uh, this is what they look like from the midsection down. I'm going to bring it down a little bit so you can get a little bit more of a view on the lower part. And again, guys, forgive me for being a little bit dirty. My wife cleaned up this house and then she, what she did was she put a bunch of stuff in my office and then around the house on the dirty so made my office dirty. I don't appreciate that. Right here. Love you. So there you go. That's what the pants look like there. Um, you know nice basic look. You know, they got the, got the branding in a, in a nice, cool place. Great fit, perfect fit, tapered, but, but relaxed. Um, so yeah. And I 
And I'll go ahead and take them over here and try on the shorts. Give me one sec. Change it up. What I will say is that the uh, quality of the material is good and decent. Kind of, kind of on the heavy side, but these are like, they're like, it's, they're still kind of considered winter. So I would not wear this particular style in the winter. I would look more for like their, their cotton jogging pants or something if you're looking for something more. Like, these are these definitely, I can feel these things would not be wrong. These are going to be like in the spring, uh, summer, and early fall. And it's a little bit easier. Alright, and here go our shorts. As you can see, nice flare at the bottom, size XL. Cells, um, Jerry is good with the sizing because it cinches a little bit um, without having to pull it in a drawstring, so you don't have to worry about it sagging. Um, and then I think that because the waistband is elastic, it'll probably give uh, perfectly to your waist, so it'll kind of give you a custom fit. I've noticed that about a couple of different brands. Pump is also like that. But yeah, nice little cut there. So yeah, man, really enjoy Essentials. Um, I will be picking up some other pieces um, from Essentials. Some of them are coming and they got a couple of shorts on Essence.com. I'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can take a look at what they have on sale if you're interested in Essentials. They've got a huge sale, 70% off of sale items. Um, it's worth taking a look at any of your favorite brands on the site, even if you're not looking specifically for Essentials. But I do appreciate you guys um, watching this video. Um, all my followers, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, comment, like. Don't forget to do it. Um, yeah, give me some, give me some thoughts. Give me your thoughts on on essentials, and you know if you if you're enjoying essentials or uh, any any good experiences, bad experience, whatever the case may be. All right, people. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, keep doing what you're doing in style. Tastemakers palette. Peace. We out.